Bam, 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 bam. We actually love it. We're here in freezing cold north in Sheffield United. Here we are in the city for the very first time. All right, for the very first time as a Brighton fan coming into this game. Um, there is a lot of, you know, history with this club. A lot of history of the stadium being one of the oldest stadiums in the world. And that is quite crazy to think. Uh, so I'm gonna be excited to go and see what Bramall Lane is all about. Uh, I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued to see how old it is and uh, just how, see how it's keeping up. But ladies and gentlemen, here we are again for another match day vlog. You're here to watch another video of me going to fans, asking them questions of what they think about this game today, showing you the action, limbs, all of the good stuff. And then we'll have our reactions after the game. We're giving you everything here on this match day for Sheffield United versus Brighton. La Bosch, mate, have it. It's a pretty cool city, I will say that. Let's go and see some fans, woo! Boys, let us know. Let the fans know here with today. Alex. Right, Alex. Dan Clark. Dan Clark. Uh, ben. Ben. Right, boys, just outside the away pub. Uh, I'm guessing you boys are going to head in there. Right, yeah, right. yeah, absolutely. Are we ready for this game? Obviously, oh, FA Cup. 100%. 100%. How you feeling? Yeah. I, love, I love the positivity here. What are we feeling today? Prediction wise. 3 0 win. Yeah? 3 0. I don't even know who Sheffield United are. 4 0. Absolutely love that. Let's go three, fours, give it five. Yeah, five. Oh, Why not? Yeah. Why not? Why not? And do you think we'll go far in the FA Cup this year? Oh, we're winning it. 100%. Yeah. 100%. It. I love it. Man. I can love see it. another semi final trip to Wembley at least. I was at the semis last year, and I'm going to be in the finals this year. Yeah. Right, here we go. Yeah. Go on. Toby, Josh and Dan. Right, boys, I want to know what's happening today. Sheffield United, obviously last time we played them, one all draw. Today, is it going to be a win? It's going to be a 3-0 comfortable one. I love it, I love Gio it. Pedro, he's Pedro. on the score sheet. All right, here we go, love it. 4-0, Adam Webster, as long as the who doesn't play. Absolutely love that. I'm saying a 1-0, the yeah. stinker. Yeah. Do you think we should uh, sign any more players, any more positions you're thinking about, guys? Striker, yeah? Striker. Yeah, 100% Anyone in striker. mind? No, I don't know. We need to sign we need a striker. striker, yeah? We need striker. A striker. Like Anyone that fits there. Yeah. Anyone that fits, yeah. Dewsbury Hill. Yeah. Oh, mate. Yeah. Dewsbury Let's start. Go for it. Dewsbury Hill, what do you reckon? We need Undav back. Okay. Oh, Get Dennis Undav back. Mm. Win the league. That's, that's controversial, but I do like it. He's been doing well, hasn't he? In the comments, Dennis Undav. Mm. Come on. Yeah. Honestly, I was at the Wolves game yesterday. We were not the best at all. However, I feel like the boys are going to come out fighting. So, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna say hopefully 2-0. 2-0. Two, nil. Two, nil. two days left of the transfer market. Not too long now until it ends. Do you think we should be buying anyone else? Any other positions you think we need? I mean, right now, our squad has actually got better depth than people think. However, Especially it's Especially with players coming back, right? Yeah, and with players coming back, we're not going to need it. No? However, it would be nice to get rid of Verbruggen. I'm not a fan of him. He, the problem is, he's okay. so dangerous with it. Mm. He's just conceded too many goals. Yeah, in, in what way do you think? Maybe too hesitant? Maybe not, not settled enough? Maybe not mature enough to be in the goalkeeping role? What do you reckon? So, the problem I have is that a lot of the time, he'll take it a bit, he'll do a bit of a sweeper keeper. Okay. Okay. However, I don't think he's got the experience for sweeper keeper. I mean, what should we call it? I think he's conceded about two goals from it. Right. Whereas Steele, he knows what he's doing. Mm. He smashes it out of the park and sometimes he gets the connection up front. And that's yeah. just what matters. Wow. Okay. And do you think Jason Steele is an underrated goalkeeper? By far one of the most underrated in the league. Jason Steele would love that if he was watching this. All right, as we know, people, today, in today's game, we have one player that has come back, and that is 
Julio Igor, he is back and hopefully we could be seeing him play today, get some minutes back in because he was playing well before he got that little injury. We have some good news about Ansu Ansu Fati coming back in as well onto the training pitch and of course Julio Enciso, he's working hard, he's doing his thing and these players can all be coming back in the next couple of weeks but here we are in front of the beautiful, iconic, old, old, old uh, Sheffield United Stadium and uh, it looks beautiful man, it, it looks traditional, it looks good and I quite like the colours going around of it as well, you know, you've got the white, you've got the black, contrast, I like it. Okay, we're joined by Alan. Right, Alan, you have been a Sheffield United fan for 60 years, you've told me. 60 years. Uh, I just want to talk about your new, obviously, not really, a returning manager of Chris Wilder coming back. And uh, do you think he's going to make a change for you guys in the Premier League to hope well, you boost up? Well, I think I think what happened at the beginning of the season, well, they, they went in the season with a, with a lot of injuries. Yes. A lot of injuries. And I think, I felt sorry for the manager, actually. Okay, but okay. apart from you know, apart from that, I mean, he suffered for you know because he play well, he's playing teams. What yeah. are spending millions and millions of pounds? Yeah, but I mean, we can't we can't compete with that. Not yeah. we not with the lot of the injuries what we've had. Wow. Yeah. But uh, I just don't like I just don't like what's happening with you know with league with refereeing just with regards mm. refereeing and mm. and things like that. I find it uh, I find it unbelievable some yeah. decisions. You have to wait five minutes five minutes to celebrate a goal. Mm. Are yeah. you a fan of VAR? VAR? No. 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 I, I think it's made it's made the game worse. I mean, mm. the, you know, I mean that, that's supposed to be there to correct a decision yeah. when it's wrong. Yeah, and they don't. They're not wrong. I mean, no. sometimes they don't. They, they should let referee do his job. Mm. We need a bit of luck. Yeah, we need a, need bit, a bit of luck. Some. Yeah. Well, how do you think today's going to go? FA Cup match. Are you guys? Are you, are you wanting to go full on force into the FA Cup, or are you more wanting to lay back and concentrate well, on Premier League? I, I, fair enough. I'd love to win today. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, what what what, what we're going to gain? Right. We're going to run into Chelsea yes. next round, or? Man City, or well, teams that have spent thousands of thousands of pounds. Mm. And, so yeah. maybe it's more important to do a bit better and cost out in the Premier League to make sure you stay up? Do you reckon? Well, yeah, but I mean, let's be right, people have paid money to see a game. Yeah. So you want, yeah. you want, you, you want to win, right? You want to, oh, of course. Yeah. What is your prediction for today? Do you have one, Alan? I'll say 2-1 to yeah. you and I too, but who knows? I mean, you yeah. will probably... You'll probably disagree, you know. Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> FA Cup's FA Cup. Anything can happen, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, Alan, pleasure. Thank you very much. No really appreciate problem. Any time, you. Sean. You're good. Steady up. Ah, have a good safe you. journey home. Thank you very much. Yep. All right, we're well, here with Tom. Right, Tom. All right, we, we, we've been speaking. You know, you, you have your own channel. Do you yeah. like to shout your channel out? Go for I it. I have man. Real Tom Football. I am a live streamer, and I've just come here for a random match because my arse ain't playing. There we go. And as you can see, on his, he's representing classy old Arsenal here today. And and what made you come here today and see this as a neutral, Tom? Well, my Arsenal ain't playing. Um, I didn't want to watch Leicester Birmingham. That's a simple story. I'm in between uh, Manchester and uh, somewhere else. Uh, sorry, my home in Torbay. So uh, I just thought I'd give it a go. And are you ready for this quiz? Let's see if Tom is a baller or a faller. Now, Tom, I have three questions for you, and we're going to see how many you can get right out of these questions. And obviously, you're an Arsenal fan, so I respect that. So I'll give you a few hints on some of them, yeah? Is that all good? Go right ahead. Bramall Lane is where we are now. It's the Amex Stadium. Who do you think has a bigger capacity seating? One of the stadiums has 32,000, and the other stadium has 30,666. Well, I've seen Which your stadium you before, it and it looks kind of big. I'm I'm gonna go just I'm gonna sneak Bramall Lane just because I think it looks a little bit bigger. He's done it! He's only gonna done it! So yeah, Bramall Lane is 32,000 and the Amex is 30. Yeah. So that's correct already. That is that is pretty good. That is pretty good. Right, so the next question is uh, this is a hard one. Do you know the result of the last game that Brighton played against Sheffield United? You could give it a guess. I'm gonna go 1-0, Sheffield United. It was 1-0. So that, to be fair, I'll give you some credit on that. I'll give you half a point for that because, to be fair, you were not far off. Now, this one is an interesting one. Who is the more expensive player signed? Is it Pedro for Brighton or is it Brewster? Rian Brewster. Oh, he's got it right. No, he hasn't. 
You're wrong, mate. Sorry. No, I was... Sorry. Getting, I was <laughs> what do you think about this game today? Obviously, FA Cup match. Well, Anything can happen, Tom. I love predictions, and I'm going to go against Brighton. I'm going to go 3-2 to Sheffield United. I think they've got enough in the tank. And I thought it was good performance against West Ham, you know? Who's your favourite player for Brighton? If I was going back to... Uh, a year or two ago, Leo Trossard. Of course you're going to say that because you're an Arsenal fan. <laughs> yeah, how, how is he playing for Arsenal, actually, um, Leandro Trossard? How do you think he is? man. Your yeah. manager was an idiot for getting rid of him <laughs> for that much money. <laughs> Right, here we are people. We're literally in the ground right now and I think it's time, isn't it, to say my score predictions for this game today. And after the Wolves game, I'm not feeling too confident, but do you know what? Still going to go with a win. I'm going to go with 1-0 today, all right? Pedro's playing, Welbeck's playing, but I think Welbeck today is going to take charge. He's, I've been watching him in training. He's been doing all right. So 1-0 today and it's going to go to Welbeck and uh, we're going to get the, uh, well, we're going to get through to the next round and um, hopefully get nearer to that Wembley uh, experience again in the FA Cup. But let's see what happens through this game and uh, let's get on with it right now. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, it is me, Luke Lynx, and I'm commentating this game while I watch the highlights with you because there was some crazy stuff happening and we just need to go through it. So let's see what happens in the game. Look at all the empty seats. Empty. 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 Oh, now some would say this is a great start to the game. Oh, yeah. But, oh. Wait, no, it was offside. Get your hands down, Lucky boy, because you're embarrassing yourself at this point. They love it. The ultras, they love it. The only thing they're loving, Lucky boy, is you screaming for an offside girl. Yeah, look at that face. You can see it all in him. He's devastated. Hey, Palace fans, I know you're listening. Anyways, after the Palace chance, Facundo went and did this. <laughs> bit naughty. <laughs> Just a bit naughty. You don't taste it, Luke. You really don't, mate. Oh, I think we can even see Tom enjoying that one. World class defence, anyone? World class defence. All right, Luke, enough of the Viking scream. Oh, come on, Brian, you could go forward a little bit. I think Joe Pedro heard me on this. Oh. Oh. Hey, referee! I mean, to be fair, to be fair, he did get pushed twice then. So I think, uh, yeah, what's that, what's that, what's that penalty, mate? Come on, go! Come on! After words of motivation to a player that can't hear me, Julian gets his glasses straight off to see Zhao hit the spot. I'll tell you what, it was a much better corner. I wouldn't mind seeing Purvis take another. I think this kid knows he's going to be winning the final. Wow. 
The silence is peaceful. Well, after me stupidly saying that, I'm a strong believer now in karma. Can't hear anything. Nothing. Oh, oh. You will in a second, Luke. Yeah. Yeah. You plonker. <laughs> Nice. Nice. Eagle. Eagle. He's a tank. Oh. Well, what was great defending at the start. Brighton let Osula oh. get ahead on it. It's embarrassing. Oh. 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 You know it's a goal worthy of celebrating when you see the ball boys cuddle up like they've won the World Cup. It's off. It's off. It's off. But then I stand there worried to see what's to come in the second half. Oh, good flick. But then as I watch Brighton pass around the ball like their prime Barcelona. Well, to be fair, Luke, I don't even know what happened either because the replay blurred the whole thing out. But I do believe it was a handball from one of the defenders. And it causes it to be another penalty. Whoop, whoop. Goes. Whoa, whoa. Everywhere we go. Watching around you. She's sta half standing on the chair. Because this is going to rut. Michel Pedro is 10 out of 10 in his pens. Seems to be as easy as walking to your local Tesco, San it, Pedro. Really ugly. Oh. 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 Oh, the right one. oh, and there it is. 3 2. We absolutely love to see it. Oh, is that the player I thought was starting? Anyways, Danny Welbeck, welcome to the pitch, mate. Oh, yeah. Does anyone else like watching Pedro score, or is it just me? Yeah. yeah. That's the only thing I got right for my score prediction. Super Brian wants the game! Danny Wilbank! Go start if you've got a score sheet! You've done it there! Strength, determination, and it equals that to the goal. 5-2 to the Albion! Danny Wilbank to the Well, 
And as I stand there, not quite believing that the game went to seven goals, we do end up winning and going to the next round. And this is where I leave you guys and say goodbye and let you back in with the Loot Links at Sheffield. Thank you guys for listening. And let's see what else this video has to bring. Peace out, Lipos. <laughs>